So these aren't the uh, killer African bees? <laughs> no, not hot enough up here. Yeah. So, they're all pretty gentle. Hello. Hey. Um, awesome. This is Michael Fromberg. He's going to be filming some of the hives there, so you can just carry on your tour, I guess. And uh, okay. maybe when you're done, you kind of stick around and make sure the bees get inside of him. All right. <laughs> to the brood chamber, the babies. I'm just going to give them a little smoke. We're going to move this queen excluder. And we call it a queen excluder because you'll see when I hold it up. It's a great, but it's the bee, the queen bee can't get through this. And then she can't lay eggs up in the honey. Most North Americans don't appreciate bee larvae in their honey. Lots of places in the rest of the world eat honey and the bee larvae together because the bee larvae is a lot of protein. to do and I'm disturbing them. Aren't I girls? Yes. And I do talk to my bees. They are kind of our pets. We have 1,500 of these hives and right now they are out in the cranberry and the squash fields. Okay, so again I just do a quick search for the queen. She's a lot longer than the other bees. And she usually has a circle of nurse bees around her, loving her, feeding her, grooming her, making sure she does her job. So again, lots of boy bees on here. Um, I'm just going to point out this one because she has pollen on her legs. Can you see the bee with the orange on her legs? That's pollen. And she'll bring that back to the hive. That's, they use that as a protein for their babies. And we can also use it as multivitamins for ourselves. You can see her, she's right there. She's got big balls of orange on her legs. So she'll go into the flowers and collect that all over her fur, and then she'll actually comb it and put it back on her leg to bring it back into the hive. You see the one with the orange on her legs? 
That's the Boulder Big Balls of Paula. Oh, there's another one down there in the right hand corner. She's got like yellow on them. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can find that queen bee for you. going to try and find you a hatching bee because those are kind of cute. So you work their way out. As soon as the bee hatches, she goes right to work so she doesn't have any play time. First job would be cleaning out cells and then she goes to feed babies and then she'll make royal jelly to feed the queen. Kind to her at the moment. Do you want a picture of the queen bee? Sure, I'd love one. Point her out. She is right in this mess here, right there. Nice. So there's one queen bee per hive. She's right there. kept in the dark, that's why they'll crawl all over her. Oh, there she is. Right there. See how big she is? Looks like her wings are too short for her. Did you get a picture? There, she's traveling in here somewhere. Thank you. 